Hello, this is Zach with MusclesAndVeggies.com. Wanted to talk to you guys today about post-exercise ketosis. So, uh, after you exercise while you're in ketosis, a lot of people will expect to come home and test their numbers and they'll see this huge increase, right? But that's not what happens. You actually will see a rise in blood glucose and a falling of the blood ketones. And everybody's like, what's going on? After I worked out, shouldn't my ketones be even higher? And uh, theoretically, if you were doing long endurance cardiovascular exercise, that may be the case. However, with uh, strength training, you will actually have a, de a decrease in ketones and a rise in blood sugar. And that is from the release of glycogen into the bloodstream from your muscles. Okay, So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here as I test. Um, this morning I was about a 1.5 millimolar before my workout. And we're going to see what I am now with blood ketones. So we're only at a 1.0, okay? And my blood glucose is a 74, which isn't too bad either. So let me show you that, 74, okay? And that's 1043. So now we are going to eat all this good stuff right here. Salad, coconut flakes, these little beautiful coconut chocolate um, with cinnamon icing that I made out of coconut cream. And those are coconut butter chocolates with cinnamon vanilla icing made out of coconut cream. I know I said that twice. I do that sometimes. So deal with it. Uh, then we're going to eat sardines with a big salad. And I got my bacon frying over here because you got to have bacon on a keto salad, right? So uh, we're going to check back in. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you what my blood ketones do here in about an hour, hour and a half after I eat we should see a rise back to where I was, 1.5, 2 millimolar, some, hopefully somewhere in the 1.5 range. So again, this illustrates uh, what happens in the body when we work out in ketosis and uh, we'll actually have that rise in insulin from the glycogen getting released into the bloodstream, which lowers our ketones and raises our blood glucose. So let's see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. Let's see how my blood ketones and blood glucose fluctuated uh, in between that three hours post-workout. So we took the first reading. Now let's take the second reading and see where we end up at. So when you're testing for blood ketones and blood glucose, you want to make sure that you have everything set up properly. So here's what the results come in at two, one. So we're back up to a 1.8 on the blood glucose and 69 on the blood glucose. So the blood ketones is 1.8, blood glucose 69. So as I predicted, um, even after eating that meal, uh, the salad and the dessert and sardines and whatnot, my blood glucose went down and my ketones went up. So that shows you, don't be worried if you work out and your blood glucose goes up in the 90s or 100s and your blood ketones drop, it didn't kick you out of ketosis. It's what, What's happening actually is your body is using those ketones, okay, and you're releasing muscle glycogen. So there's glycogen stores, there's glucose stored in the muscle. So when you're working out real hard, it's going to release that into the blood, which raises your... Uh, blood glucose and then also you're using those ketones in your blood so your ketones are going to temporarily drop for a couple hours after then they're going to spike back up you'll be right back where you left off in ketosis so just a little tip for education today wanted to let you guys know how this works if you have any questions email me at muscles and veggies at gmail stay tuned for more thanks for watching